quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Now remember, we know that polygons mean it's a geometrical shape that is simple, closed, a curve, and has straight edges. So a quadrilateral is simple, closed, curved, with four straight edges. There are six types of quadrilaterals that are named, and many more which don't have a formal name. Name the six quadrilaterals shown above. Can you draw two other quadrilaterals? A square is a quadrilateral with congruent sides and angles. So we know a square is a polygon with four sides, and those sides are all exactly the same measure. Those angles, four angles, are also all the same measure. Squares are the goody two-shoes of the quadrilateral family. They're the most perfect, they follow the most rules, they have the most properties, and this is the regular quadrilateral. A square is also a rectangle, a parallelogram, a rhombus, a kite, and a trapezoid. It is the very specific one of each of those. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with congruent angles. For a rectangle, we don't really put any limits on the sides. They can be any length. What we put a limit on are the angles. All four must be the same. Of course, we know all four are right angles and measure 90 degrees. A rectangle is also a parallelogram and a trapezoid. And sometimes it can be a square if you pick a very special rectangle. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral of two pair of parallel sides. Here we don't particularly care about the angle measure, we only care that opposite sides are parallel to each other. So the top and bottom are parallel and the left and the right sides are parallel. A parallelogram is also a trapezoid and that might be a kite, a rhombus, or a square if we choose a special parallelogram. A trapezoid is the most argued over quadrilateral or shape in geometry. Mathematicians and educators sometimes have different definitions and sometimes even different names if you live outside the United States. Some people define a trapezoid to have exactly one pair of parallel sides. Others say that they have at least one pair, leaving the door open to having two pair of parallel sides. So what do you think? Do you think a rectangle is also a trapezoid? Is a parallelogram also a trapezoid? Why or why not? A rhombus is a quadrilateral with congruent sides. Here we don't care about the angles again. We only care that all four sides measure exactly the same length. A rhombus might be a square, but it's always a kite, a parallelogram, and a trapezoid. A kite is a quadrilateral with two, quadrilateral with two pair of congruent adjacent sides. This time we're not talking about parallel opposite sides. We're talking about adjacent or two sides that are next to each other. If you consider the purple kite here, the traditional kite shape when we fly it, notice that the two top sides are the same length and the two bottom sides are the same length. Opposite sides may be parallel or they might not. Can you draw a kite with a right angle? Name the quads above, giving as many possible names for each shape. 